He has turned the community wastewater treatment in, uh, plant into an aquaculture facility, breeding fish that is safe for consumption. This process is also saving the environment whilst ensuring food security. That is the story of Trimac Aquaculture, presented to you in this story. Access to improved sanitation is a challenge for millions of people in Ghana. About 23 million Ghanaians do not have access to improved sanitation and 3 million do not have access to safe drinking water. Solutions to this challenge could greatly reduce related diseases and mortality. In most urban cities, domestic wastewater, especially black and grey waters, are discharged into the environment and treated. This wastewater ends up contaminating surface waters and underground water sources. Although many of the metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies have wastewater treatment facilities, just a few of them function. Wastewater treatment plants of this nature exist in Ghana here. More than 10% of them are, less than 10% of them are working. The rest are not functioning because there is an issue of lack of funds on the part of the district assemblies to maintain and operate these treatment plants. Makibo Japan is the founder and center director of Trimark Agricultural Center. He has been conducting studies on nutrient recovery from communal wastewater, that is black, gray, and kitchen spent water sources for commercial fish production in Ghana since 2010 till date. He's currently running a pilot business model in recycling wastewater for fish production in Kumasi. The Ghana Climate Change Innovation Center has been providing technical and financial support to Trimark for many years. Trimark is in the Chapatre district of the, in, in the Ashanti region. And within that community, there are a number of outlets in terms of wastewater from the aseptic, from the uh, wherever, all the wastewater that comes from, from the community. He is a fish farmer. And ordinarily, people will buy fresh water to breed or brood their fishes. Now he has a technology that would convert the wastewater from the communities and use that wastewater to brood the fish. Trimac Aquaculture, our business model has been structured such that we reuse the water to generate revenue, grow fish to generate revenue, where the proceeds received from the sales of the fish is channeled back into the maintenance of these treatment plants to address the issue of lack of maintenance for operations of these treatment plants in Ghana. The design of the treatment plant is such that domestic wastewater from the community is discharged through underground sewage lines into ponds at the site. The wastewater we are talking about here has to do with wastewater coming from the toilets, from washrooms and from kitchen. And when the wastewater comes in here, they are first of all sent into the first pond, which is anaerobic pond. So as the anaerobic pond settles, it moves again to a second pond, which is called a facultative pond. From the facultative pond, it moves to another facultative pond before it moves to the next uh, maturation and the last maturation pond. So it is in these two maturation ponds, that's the fourth and the fifth maturation ponds, that is where we culture our fish. And fish cultured in the last two maturation ponds are not for consumption, but rather they serve as brew stock where we harvest, we take the eggs, send them to our, our on site hatcheries where we produce fingerlings. These are fingerlings cultured here for about three months. We had their eggs from their blue stock. The blue stock are really the parent fish that were cultured in the um, wastewater treat treatment plants. And then uh, they are about three months old. These are the sizes that they got to for us to transfer them into the outside concrete tanks, which receives clean water, which has nothing to do with wastewater. So these are the fingerlings. So tell me, what happens here? What is this building uh, about? What do you do here? This is our hatcheries. In the hatcheries here, we actually take the eggs of the female 
and then the males of the males. Then we hatch them. Then we get the fingerlings, the fires. So that is actually what we do here. We, we culture them into a size that we think is desirable, about 40 grams before we take them outside this building. So that is actually what we do here. Why is it necessary to culture these fingerlings here at all? Because, well, if you have the parent fish over there in the other pond, why must you go through this other process of hatching them again? Okay, we have to hatch them here because, um, and culture them here to this standard, because when we take them outside there um, into the concrete tanks at their tender ages, that is about less than three months, the, 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 the mortality rate is very high, and then we have to culture them here so that they will attain that level, that is the 40 grams, before we can take them out. Mm. Yeah. Talk to me about the societal, cultural um, perception that people have about um, fish that is grown from, with, treated with water. When we culture fish in the waste treatment plants, uh, it becomes very difficult due to their cultural perception. So we, we, we just devised a way. Why don't we culture the fingerlings, those that we, we, we had the eggs from the broodstock from the waste treatment plants? We culture them here, and then they grow to the 40 grams that I told you earlier. We take them outside into a concrete tank that receives clean water, and then we, we grow them to a table size that is for consumption. Um, they receive clean water. To break that cultural perception about the fishes are being cultured in the waste treatment plants, that uh, eating fish that are treated in such a manner is, uh, you see, our cultural perception. So we try to break that cultural perception by this time around, um, culturing our fish in a concrete tank that receives a well water that is underground. Very clean. It has nothing to do with the waste treatment plant or its water. Ghana is a major fish consuming nation with a per capita consumption of over 23 kilograms. Unfortunately, we are also a major fish importing nation producing only 40% of our needs. Wastewater aquaculture startups like Trimark can make a huge difference, especially considering the fact that a considerable amount of wastewater, including nutrients favorable for fish consumption, translates into substantial production costs. These are our concrete tanks. Inside these concrete tanks, we culture our fingerlings that were produced inside the hatcheries for about six months, where they become ready for consumption. Just last month, we had an order of about 10 kilo, kilograms where we process it and it was sent to America for consumption. Our fishes here are very safe and they are wholesome. The revenue we generate out of the sales of this fish is channeled back into the maintenance of this treatment plant, which we think that this model is the, one of the sustainable ways by which we can manage our wastewater successfully in Ghana by trying to reuse the wastewater to generate revenue for maintenance and operations of the treatment plants. Yeah, and this is a female. The Ghana Climate Innovation Center has helped Trimark Aquaculture Center to redesign the treatment plant to accommodate more fish than currently produced. Mark says this will further improve the quality of water and lead to more than 50% increment in fish production. The existing treatment plant has five series of ponds and the standard of this uh, quality of water in there, um, it's good for fish production, but it's not really to the level that we expected it to be. It's not at its um, optimum. So the biodigester here we are talking about, it's a commercial digester, um, it's a concrete built tanks that receives, that is expected to receive the waste first and do treatment in anaerobic processes before it starts, before the effluent is discharged into the anaerobic pond for the anaerobic pond to also continue with its function as an anaerobic pond. In that effect, we are expecting the whole treatment plant, the ponds, to perform 
more efficiently by getting the best out of the whole resource. Any business we support, we take them from a certain stage, bring them to the limelight, and other funders see the light and inject more money into the businesses. We supported um, Trimark with about $40,000. Now there is an institution, because of confidential, there's an institution that is supporting him with $100,000 to expand this. And these are success stories that are worth mentioning so that people will see the kind of work that Ghana Climate Innovation Center is doing. Besides numerous um, partners we've got we've gotten to support Trimark in our activities partners like Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly International Water Management Institute and Aqua for All in the Netherlands and also Waste Enterprises GCIC has played a very key role in our business model GCIC is a pioneering business incubator with a unique focus of developing SME ventures and entrepreneurs in Ghana's green economy their mission is to develop and support an exceptional set of transformational ventures and entrepreneurs who are pioneering adaptive and mitigating solutions for climate change issues in Ghana. They focus on five key economic sectors, energy efficiency and renewable energy, solar power, climate smart agriculture, domestic waste management, water management and purification.